the sandy beaches of Bassam, Southern Ivory Coast, the scene of one of the worst attacks in the country's history, now abandoned. Bassam's once popular beach hotels are reeling from the attack. Patrick Collin has run his Nouvelle Payot Hotel for the past 15 years. It has a 30-room capacity. Today, there's just a single guest. The attack happened during the peak tourism season. It has completely devastated businesses here. No one is coming to Bassam anymore. On the 13th of March, six masked gunmen stormed the beach and fired indiscriminately at beach goers. Nineteen people, including four foreigners, were killed. Flowers still litter the scene of the attack. It's a place those who lost their relatives come back to with great reluctance. The attack that happened here could not have come at a worse time for Ivory Coast. In the past two years, the government had invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to boost tourism, part of an effort to turn around an economy devastated by years of conflict. Bassam was not just popular with foreign tourists, but was also much favored by locals, including children of all ages. Frank Lionel runs a bar and organizes concerts for tourists. The authorities are not trying to help us to promote Bassam. I think they have to think about it now because this place is completely dead. He says the massive police presence in Bassam is not helping either. I've traveled around the world and I haven't seen a place where you, the police have to charge you and then when you come the police will charge you again and then when you... What is all of this? That's why I said, you know, the authorities here, they have to organize themselves, honestly. If they want Bassam to come back as before, they really have to come and stop all of this, you know, like we call monkey business. With our salt here still fresh in the minds of many, the people of this sleepy Atlantic weekend getaway are bracing themselves for a long spell without tourists. Mohamed Adewal Jazeera, Bassam, Southern Ivory Coast.